the city council meeting today. Majority of that time was spent welcoming and lending advice to the new 43rd Walder, Wal, the new 43rd Ward Alderman Timmy Knutson. Uh, they also introduced several new ordinances today, and then they passed one as well. That one was aimed at helping women who come to Chicago from out of state and are seeking an abortion. I also rise in support of this nomination. Timmy, welcome. Um, I'm so excited to have yet another new member of the council. 32-year-old Timmy Knudsen was appointed by Mayor Lightfoot last week and sworn in as the 43rd Ward Alderman today. Throughout my career, I have a proven track record of bringing private sector results into public service. The now youngest member of council, who is the seventh LGBTQ alder person of the caucus, replaces recently retired alderwoman Michelle Smith. The 43rd Ward includes parts of Old Town, the Gold Coast, and Lincoln Park. Along with welcoming Knudsen, some aldermen also made sure to remind him this would not be an easy job. What are you going to do for your constituents? You have a very demanding neighborhood. Hood. They pay a lot of taxes as uh, we've been reaffirmed by Alderman Michelle Smith, as you well know. It's like, how are you going to deliver, keep your neighborhood safe, and keep them represented at, on this very diverse city council? City council also passed the bodily autonomy sanctuary city ordinance today. This prohibits law enforcement and local government from assisting in investigations intended to criminalize women from other states who come to the city seeking abortions. Mayor Lightfoot also introduced an ordinance that would make expanded outdoor dining brought about due to the pandemic a permanent program. We want to make sure that we continue to do everything we can to help the hospitality industry uh, regain its footing um, and exceed uh, pre-pandemic levels. And this is another important step in that direction. Through the program, eligible restaurants would be able to expand their operations into the public right of way. So the program establishes an outdoor dining street permit issued by CDOT, and that allows eligible restaurants to operate on the roadway next to their business. The mayor also introduced several ordinances related to affordable housing, including proposed developments for both the south and west side of the city. Reporting at City Hall, Alyssa Donovan, WGN News.